Hi friends, here in this video, I'll be explaining the problem on assignment. So let's get started. Now here is the question in front of us. It is given that four different jobs can be done on four different machines. The matrix below gives the cost in rupees of producing job J on machine M. So here there are four jobs from J1 to J4. They are to be produced on machines from M1 to M4. We have to assign the jobs to the respective machines and in such a way that assign the jobs to the machines so as to minimize the cost. Whatever values are given here, these are the cost and these cost may be in terms of uh, here it is given in the form of rupees. It may be hundreds in, in the form of hundreds. Like for example, this may be 500, this may be 700 and so on. Or it may be in terms of thousand or lakhs, etc. But here we have to find the unit cost. Now, how to start such a problem of assigning? First of all, into the solution, we have to see that if the number of rows and columns are equal. And if the rows and columns are equal, that is a balanced problem of assignment. If they are not equal, then we have to add either a dummy row or column. In this case, there are four rows and four columns. So we can easily start the problem. There is no need of adding dummy row or column over here. And the method which we are using here, it is called as the Hungarian method. And now into the solution part. The first step is select the first row in that take the minimum element. The minimum value is 5. Subtract 5 from each and every term. So 5 minus 5 that will be 0. 7 minus 5 that is 2. 11 minus 5 that is 6. And 6 minus 5 that is 1. It means we should have 0 in each of the row and each of the column. Next in the second row. It is 5, which is the minimum value, subtracting 5 from each and every term. So 8 minus 5, that is 3. 5 minus 5, that is 0. 9 minus 5 is 4. And 6 minus 5, that is 1. Then in the third row, least value is 4. 4 minus 4 is 0. Then 7 minus 4 is 3. 10 minus 4, that is 6. And 7 minus 4, that is 3. Next. In the last row, the least value is 3. So 10 minus 3 is 7. 4 minus 3 is 1. 8 minus 3 is 5. And 3 minus 3 is 0. So we have to check that at least we should have one zero value in each row and each column. So we are having zeros in each of the rows. But when we see in the third column, no zero is present over here so we have to introduce a zero here and how it should be done keep the remaining columns as it is just into this third column again take the minimum value and subtract all the values from that minimum value so i'll draw this table again The columns which already have zero will remain as it is. Third column, minimum value is four. So six minus four, that is two. Four minus four is zero. Six minus four, that is two. And five minus four, that is one. Now we have zeros in each and every row and column. So we can start making the assignment. And if I'm starting with the first row, if we make an assignment over here by drawing a square, now there should not be any other assignment in this row or column. So in the row, no other zero is present. But when we look into the column here, we have a zero. So this should be cancelled because assignment can only be made in a single cell and there should not be any other assignment in that corresponding row or column. Similarly, when I am taking the second assignment, then this zero which is present in the row should be should be cancelled and after that I have to make an assignment over here so it means these three assignments are made and there are no other zeros in this row or column so these three assignments have been made but there is one single row remaining 
in which there is no assignment so it means we have to solve it again that is we have to again uh, go on for the better solution to find the assignment and for that the method which i am showing here is first of all tick mark the row in which the assignment is not done so the third row is that row in which the assignment is not made then in that row check if there is any cancel zero so here we have a cancel zero present in this row and that cancel zero is corresponding to a column so tick mark onto that column and in that column see if there is any assignment in the row so here there is an assignment in this column in the first row so tick this row i'll again explain it first select that row in which no assignment is made then check if there are any cancel zeros there is a cancel zero corresponding to that column make a tick mark then in that column check if there is any assignment in the row yes there is a single assignment so tick that row now draw lines and those lines should be the row we have tick mark excluding that the rows which are left so there is second row which is left and then there is the fourth row which are left with the tick mark then draw a line corresponding to the tick column now the number of lines indicate the number of assignment we already have like for example we have three assignments and here also we are having two horizontal lines one vertical line so three lines next we have to draw the table again and in that we have to make some changes i am going to explain it over here now how to fill this table first of all see that whatever values are remaining remaining in the sense whatever values which are not passing through these lines like for example 2 2 1 and 3 2 3 these values are remaining so out of that select the least value and the least value is 1 so subtract 1 from each of the values which are left by these lines so 2 minus 1 into this cell here i am going to have 1 then 2 minus 1 1 1 minus 1 is 0 these are called as the uncovered values which are not covered by the lines so next we have 3 so 3 minus 1 is 2 in this same cell then 2 minus 1 is 1 3 minus 1 that is 2 so these are the uncovered values after that take the row like for example over here in this here we are getting this value is 3 but it is at the intersection of two lines so whenever you have any cell which is at the intersection of these two lines in that add the minimum value the minimum value was 1 so it will be added at this intersection because 3 is at the intersection of the second row and first column by drawing these lines so 1 would be added to 3 and it becomes 4 next we have another intersection over here which is for 7 so one would be added over here and it becomes 8 then the remaining values will remain as it is here we have 0 0 this is 1 1 and 0 then these are 0 0 and 1 these are called as the covered values and remaining were uncovered values and with an intersection at 3 and 7 now we get a new table we can make a fresh assignment over here so starting with if i make an assignment again into this cell then there should not be any other assignment in the same row or in the same column next again if i make an assignment in the second row there should not be any other assignment in the same row so this zero would be cancelled then when i make an assignment over here in the fourth row fourth column there is no other assignment in the same row or column so these three assignments have been made but still when we see here the row 3 is left without any assignment so again we have to start with the solution for that 
again just tick mark this row which is not having any assignment check if there are any cancel zero yes there is this cancel zero so select this column see in this column if there is an assignment or not in the row yes there is one single assignment in the first row now the rows which are left draw lines through that rows the rows which are left then or which are left with these tick marks then draw a line through the column which has been marked which is here so these are the number of lines and again when we see we, we are getting three lines so three lines are corresponding to the three assignments which have been made so again the next table would be drawn i am drawing it over here Now again we have to draw a fresh table and in that whatever are the uncovered values. So when we see here there is 1, 1 and then there are 2, 1 and 2. So the minimum value is 1. Subtracting all the uncovered values with the minimum value that is 1. So 1 minus 1 that is 0. Again 1 minus 1 that is 0. Next over here 2 minus 1 that is 1. 1 minus 1 that is 0. Then 2 minus 2. <coughs> 2 minus 1 that is 1 then after that where we are getting the intersection of the lines like for example in the second row and first column there is intersection at this 4 so we have to add the value over here like the minimum value which we had subtracted so 1 would be added here this becomes 5 similarly we are getting an intersection over here there is a value 8 8 plus 1 that is 9 next whatever values are remaining on this line like 0 will remain as it is then there is another 0 which will remain as it is then in the second row we have 0 0 and 1 so this would be repeated then in the last row we have 1 1 and 0 that would be repeated then at the same time we have a 0 over here now the next thing would be and in this 0 as well since here we have a value 0 and 1 would be yes this value would remain 0 now to make the assignment here again if we are making an assignment in the first row like for example over here in this cell then all three zeros in that row would be cancelled so no other assignment can be made in the same row at the same time the zero in the column would be cancelled because an assignment is made over here Next, when I am selecting this assignment, this 0 in the last row, last column, no other assignment can be made in this column or in this row. So, this is correct. Next, when I make an assignment over here in the third row, third column, then this 0 would be cancelled. So, no other assignment in this row or column. At last, when I make an assignment here in the second row, second column, so here also no other 0 is present in the row or column. So this is the final assignment and I have to write the answer in such a way that we have n number of jobs here and machines. So jobs are J1, J2, J3 and J4 and the machines which are assigned to them are this is first row and first column it means job 1 is assigned to machine M1 job 2 is assigned to machine M2 job 3 is assigned to machine M3 and job J4 is assigned to machine M4 and it is not compulsory that the sequence would be in this order the sequence may change depending upon the type of the problem Next, I can also find the minimum cost over here. So, minimum cost would be corresponding to the assigned values. We can see these are the assigned values. So, when we look at the question, the assignment is made over here. Then it is in the second row, second column, third row, third column and fourth row, fourth column. So, adding up all these values, that is 5 plus 5 plus 10 plus 3. So this gives me the value in terms of rupees. It comes out to be 23. This may be 2300,000 lakhs or it may go on. So here 
I am getting this unit unit cost and the jobs are assigned in such a way to the machine so as we get the minimum cost. So that was a problem regarding assignment. At the end, if you'll find my videos helpful, you'll can like, share, comment, and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends. Thanks for watching.